Hello, and we, well, we, I have installed Windows 10 on a very, very old PC. I'd say this PC, um, I don't know what, probably about, it's way over 10 years old, I know that. Um, could be 10 years old, I know it, it's about that. Cause it's run XP on it, and it's a Pentium 4. Uh, we're going to turn it on. Um, but I managed to install Windows 10 on it. Um, so, this is obviously a 32 bit computer, but nevertheless, I still installed Windows 10 on it. So, but we're going to have a look when it boots up. Um, obviously, it's not, it's not going to be as quick as the laptop, but it's already booted, so. Well, still booted in, but it's just come up with the screen. Um, but I was quite impressed <laughs> for something this old that it can still run Windows 10. Um, it was running Windows 7 on it, so here we are. Load it up. Um, so we go to the start, bet, start menu, so yes. And what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look at the, the specs. Um, properties. Come on. So here we go. Um, so it's running uh, Intel Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz. Um, it's the HT version, the hyper threading. Um, it's got 2 gigabyte of RAM. It's obviously a 32 bit operating system on a, on a 32 bit processor. Yes. So there you go. So now we're going to go to um, Device Manager. Can see that, and I think it's managed to. Um, yes, it has every single driver it has found on its own. So that was a bit of a surprise. I couldn't, I can't believe it. So something this old has even found all the drivers so it can run Windows 10 on an old PC. Um, here we go, Windows 10. So I'm not lying. <laughs> Obviously, you can see it's Windows 10. Um, yeah, so here we go. Um, I'm not going to go straight into it, but we're going to just load up an application. Um, let's have a look. I just still got to get used to this um, machine, um, Windows 10. I've, I've installed it on my laptop, but that is a seven year old laptop, so and it works very well. That was the 64 bit version of it. Um, so, really, I don't know what I'm doing. File Explorer? I don't know what I'm doing actually. So all get, get used to all this. Um, so let's just, let's all, oh, all apps. So we're just going to, you know, so I'm not going to open that. Um, I'm going to do what I did last time because I've installed mm. Microsoft Office. Oh, what's that? My phone just vibrated there. Um, where is it? Office 2013, so what we're going to do, we're just going to open Word. So, I'm just wondering if it can install on this PC, I wonder if it's too much to ask to install on my old um, Dell Dimension. Um, what is it? It's 20, oh, I can't, 2400. Is it the 2400? Yes. Because it's now running Windows 7 because I acquired some memory for it. Uh, so I just took it up to 1 gigabyte, and it is running Windows 7. Obviously still slow, but that could be another um, objective to try. See if that runs Windows 7. Um, so here we go. So it seems to be use recommended settings. Um, come on, accept. Just go to blank documents. Yeah, we don't care, just a little bit slow, but you know, it's up, it's not, it works well, so I'm not complaining. A little bit laggy, but you know, it works. I'm not going to complain about that for a computer this old, and it can, and it can run Windows 10. I don't save, so I'm not complaining. So, what I've made it a little bit easier. So, because I'm still getting used to all this, I've got it installed on my laptop, now I've got it installed on this, 
So basically I'm just going through it, just to get used to it. I'm not installed it on my main PC yet. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so I've just got this rocket dot thing up here. So that'll just take me straight to the market computer. My, this PC rather. Testing all my drives. But yeah. So for something that's about 10 years old. You don't need to upgrade your computer just yet. Um, so something with XP. Probably the later models of the XP computers like this was. There's a latest model just before Vista came out. As I say, this well, I say it could be a couple of years before Vista came out, um, but I don't know if the, when this particular model came out. It was definitely must be about 2004, 2005 time this model computer came out. Um, but I don't know the DC seven seven ten CMT. Um, yeah. So yeah, it runs Windows seven, and it runs it pretty nicely you know it's not much of a lag um, but it works so pretty impressed anyway that's all I'm going to talk about now that's all I wanted to say really is just show you that an old PC can run Windows 10 and it runs it pretty well um, obviously the I think the minimum for a 32-bit is one gigabyte but it's got two gigabytes so so it's okay so anyway I'm going to shut it down now. Thank you for so thank you for watching this video. Till next time, and goodbye.